Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we've got something very special, and something that I know a lot of people are hyped about, and to figure out how we're going to actually do these videos, or video, we are going to leave it up to chance. So, we've got ourselves a d20, uh, yeah, dice nerd, hello, but anyway, we have got ourselves NECA's 2-pack of uh, the Ninja Turtles from the 90's movies. The big hype. In fact, we have got Ralph and Mikey right here. And then we have also got ourselves the 2-pack for Leo and Donnie. Now, I'm going to roll a d20. We get a 20. This is all going in one video. If we get odds, we're going to do Leo and Donnie. If we get evens, we're going to do Ralph and Mikey, and we're going to do those in separate videos. It's going to be one video if we get a 20. So, let's roll away. We got a 3! So, we are going to start off with Leo and Donnie, and then you guys will have to tune in for the next video to check out Mikey and Ralph. And I do actually have a buddy that has the original GameStop release with the individual package turtles, and we do plan on doing a comparison video at another time where we're going to collaborate on that and show off the new Walmart two packs from that have been coming out this year versus the GameStop initial release and just see if there's any kind of differences just like how we did with the Super Shredders and the Foot Soldiers. So let's go ahead take a look at this and see. So right off the bat we got Glare and we've got Can't See. Isn't that just lovely? So. As you can see, these are just really amazing figures. You can understand why everybody's so hyped about them. They look so good, and they're going to look so much better out of the box. Everybody will tell you that that has them. So, we have got just lovely display going on here. Three pictures, three pictures. Little, like, do-do-do-do going through. I was lucky enough to be able to snag these guys up. So, without further ado, let's open this up and take a look. Alright, so, the background that we have, we've got a nice little sewer diorama, which seems to be the common theme for most of these uh, things. This seems to be the common thing. Um, so, right there, before we even start to pull them all out, we have got Leo's uh, katanas there, and we have got uh, the bow staff there for Donnie. We have got Donnie right here. That face sculpt just looks really great. He looks just very great. We've got two pizza slices. We've got two different um, things there. Extra hands. Like, we've got everything you want with these turtles, you know what I mean? Like, we even got the pizza. Like, come on. So, they seem to be held in with one. I'm only seeing the one around the waist. And then... Nope, they didn't even tape that down. It doesn't look like... Okay. So, this is a very simple packaging. Yep. We've got just the one thing holding them in. Now the thing I do like to point out is that they do push their arms through the packaging there with the little holes. So just be careful of that and mindful of that when we go to pull them out. So let's go ahead and pull them out. I'm right and without much further ado we have separated. We've got Leo and his stuff. We've got Donnie and his stuff. Now <clears throat> the thing that I'm already noticing that I think is really cool with these figures before we get into that I mean let's just take a second to appreciate the sculpt they got going on there and everything they've got to show with this like he's got that smug look look on his face and that's just great like he looks great are we gonna focus don't start giving me focusing problems like, that's a great looking figure right there, just in its own respect, and we haven't even messed around with it, because everybody knows, with action figures, the better the pose you get him in, the better he looks. So, just right out of the packaging, just standing him up, he looks great. Same thing with Donnie here. He looks great. Now, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, because one thing I always forget to do... We're going to measure. Now this is supposed to be part of a 7 inch line. 
and as we know, the turtles do stand a little bit shorter. So what we're looking at here is roughly six, maybe six and a quarter inches. Can't tell if that's directly six or a little bit over six, but it does look pretty much directly six. So these are six inch figures, but you know, NECA does everything on the seven inch scale. So it works out with the fact that they're turtles and they are smaller. So let's go ahead and start messing around with things. Now the thing that I do like with the accessories is that they give you the option here. Like you don't just get him and he's stuck with the way that his, uh, his uh, eye mask looks and everything. Now this is in there on a peg and I did already kind of try to remove Donnie's and it seems like that is kind of stuck in there like really well. So you're not gonna lose it, it's not gonna fall out on you. What you're gonna be worried about is losing your extras. Now I do really like the draped around. So I'm not going to mess around with it and try taking it off and doing all of that effort to put it in there. But as you can see, we can do it where he has that kind of wind blowing essence there. Same with this. You kind of have it whichever way you want it. So that's the really cool thing that they included there. It's a small thing, but... I mean, it's really the small and simple things that really make or break an accessory, you know? Like, everybody wants, like, the big stuff. Everybody cares about having his swords. Maybe an extra set of hands. Definitely a pizza, you know? Like, but it's the small overlooked things that I really like that NECA actually doesn't go overlooking, you know? Same thing with uh, Donnie here. Got the same thing. So, as far as extra hands go, um, it does look... Like, you can use either hand on them. So, I mean, like, they both have, like, the same texturing scale and everything. So, it's not like you're going to mix and match and, like, really notice if you use another one's hands. Now, we've got that lovely, like, olivey lime green. And same here. Just the thing, I really like that they went with, like, the first movie versions because they were very similar and everything. But, like, when you got to, like, the second and third movie, like, I feel like Donnie, especially, like, he started getting more of a darker tone and everything than, like, like the other characters. So, it's nice that they went with just, like, that basic and everything. Because I'm not really noticing, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not really noticing a shade difference. Maybe if we put them next to each other, turn that flashback on, looking quite similar, so. Ultimately, I feel like, for the most part, they are going to have the same exact sculpt, basically, for, like, the bodies, and then, like, the way they do their accessories is going to be a little bit different, and then their face sculpts are going to be different. Now, one thing I did already notice is that if you look at their shells, you can kind of, I don't know if we're going to get this on the video, like Leo's felt a lot more noticeable. Stand you up there. If we look at their shells, it looks like, I don't know if you can see that. What I'm trying to show you, it looks like the shells are kind of just like held on by like that belt and everything. And that's what's giving you that shell effect. But I feel like if you removed this, like you could take off that shell, essentially like slide this whole piece off is what it looks like to me. Because it looks like this is like slid on there and that's not like glued in place or anything like that. So it does look like you could actually remove the turtle from the shell is basically my point that I'm getting at. Um, I don't know if anybody would actually want to do that, cause, but that is the impression I am getting. I'm sure there's like some kind of glue in place there. Now let's talk real quick about these sheaths, because that's one thing that I think is just a damn brilliant thing, because let's be honest, how many times have we gotten a figure from somebody or something, and like, you couldn't sheath your weapons. Like, that is just such a thing, like, that is a simple thing to do that is just so needed, in my opinion. 
being able to sheath everything. Just keep it nice and neat. What are we hitting on here? Hitting something. Might need both hands here. Flip Rooney. But yeah, being able to sheath these things is just like a godsend. Why are we having trouble with that one? There we go. That's tight. That's a tight sheath. That's what the problem is. Yeah, that's tight. I do wish that it didn't. Donnie fell. But I do wish that they had a uh, full cover there. But I'm not going to complain about that. That's that's not a big deal. because Especially because you're going to be looking at them like this most of the time anyway. I mean, just... Yeah. I do like... I don't like this one being so tight. I do like that sound, though. Getting it out of there. That was nice. But that this one is tight. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be present on everything. <clears throat> but... Anyway, I'm trying not to make these run too long, so let's just go over some articulation here. So we have got the head on a ball joint. So you can kind of give you whatever you're trying to do with that. And then we've got that full range on the arms. Shoulders out. You can do everything you want with him. So Then we've got that wrist articulation from it being on a peg. We've got that elbow articulation. Just be careful of those shoulder pads. Those shoulder pads uh, move around on their own. So, and then we do have not only bending, but we also got twisting. So, that's nice. Get your back end up place here. Now, do you have abdomen? Probably not, because you're a turtle. We have waist. It appears that we might have a waist thing, but you're not going to use that, because turtle shell and then for the legs we can do the splits kick out kick to the side you know that's all nice we do got right there at the knee twist and we've got a double joint on the knee so we can go back but again knee pad um, then we have got foot articulation as well and I don't believe this is on a ball no it is on a ball so you can move that foot as you please. That is awesome. Now, be careful. NECA figures, like always, notorious. Like, some of them come quite stiff. So if you try just <laughs> rushing around like and everything, like, yeah, probably going to snap something. Um, I always recommend heating up your figure. So before you go all crazy with posing and everything, just to make sure that those joints are nice and loose. Now... Let's go ahead and set him up. And Donnie has the same articulation. So. I usually do this kind of stuff off camera. So you're watching me just, you know, figure out and play with the figure now. So. But this is exciting. Like, let's be honest. He's got a tight grip. He's got a really tight grip. And I like that. Now, I haven't actually boiled my figure, so I'm not really going to do a lot of strenuous movements to get a positioning going with him. But, I mean, like, just look at that. He looks uh, great. So great. I love those poses. Don't judge me. Now, then let's go ahead and set up Leo. And, again, you're going to watch me play with the figure because I could pause like I usually do and everything, but... What's really the point? I mean, we're here to look at things. We're here to enjoy ourselves. I can sit here and bullshit with you guys for a minute, right? whole reason I did the whole little D20 thing, I was debating, like, you know, because we got the four turtles and everything. We want to see all four of them. Now, my problem with that was, like, okay, like, this video is already, like, 15 minutes long and everything. Like, you know, if I did all four of them, we'd have to showcase all four of them because we want to see all four of them. Go top to bottom when you put in his bow staff in both hands. Quick tip. Learn from my mistakes. Just slide that in like a cock on a stripper's hand. I didn't say that. 
edit that out. I'm just kidding. I don't do edits. That's, that's what I like about my channel. I like, I, I, I do something, I do something. Like, I mean, I'm sure most of us have seen my, uh, Gremlin review where I, uh, snapped off his ear. <laughs> Boil your figures. Do something. Now we got him over here with his beat em up stick. Now, and sometimes I don't really care for their feet because, like, I feel like their feet sit awkwardly. And that's just like most of the NECA figures in general for me. Like, the way that they are sit on those ball pegs, I feel like sometimes it's like, you know, like off to the side and everything. And, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't really care for it. But now, from this, just look at this. I mean, we have got him sitting over here with his bow staff ready to wacka wacka. And then we have got him over here just staring. I'm like, look at that eye. Like, that is, that, that's great. I love that. That look right there. That is serious. That is serious business right there. So we set these guys up like this. And... I think that's a great scene. He's like, he stole my pizza. Like, and you can imagine you get the other two in there and everything. You get Ralph and Mikey in there. And then, like, you set up a foot soldier or two here. Like, I mean, like, you've got the whole scenario going for you. And it's all about the way that you're going to pose them. What you're going to set them up with and everything. Like, I mean, obviously, Leo looking like, bitch, where's, what are you doing with my pizza right there? Like, that's great. That's a screenshot for sure. We want to focus. How about we focus in there? There we go. If we focus on both, for some reason we can't. That is Leo and Donnie. And I imagine Mikey and Ralph are about to look equally as good. Great sets. Definitely, definitely understandable about this turtle hype. So...